Happy Wednesday! It's hump day, so you know we gotta get the day started off right with some breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And it's the most important meal of the day because it depends on what you're eating is what's gonna fuel you throughout the day. So you always wanna start off with a great breakfast because it'll keep you going throughout the day. So right now, check this. We're making eggs benedict with guacamole, some fresh plum tomatoes, and then we have this nice little side salad we got here working. Let's check it. Right now we're gonna drop our eggs. We got some boiling water here with a little bit of vinegar. And just sit it there for a second. Now I like to make the water swirl a little bit. So this way, when you drop your second egg, he's got his own little nook too. The vinegar also helps keep the eggs together. Doesn't separate as much. All right. While these eggs are cooking, we're gonna take our English muffins and pop them in the boiler real quick. You got them nice and toasty. Now, you can butter them if you want, but because I'm putting guacamole on it, I skip the butter. Now, we made our hollandaise sauce already. You're gonna have a nice consistency. And now we're gonna add some seasoning to it, a little salt, a little pepper. And you know, you always gotta put a little crushed red pepper in there, a little heat. in a jar it's disgusting fresh squeezed lemon juice a little drizzle of olive oil and then I have this really good harvest Riesling vinegar add a little bit of that in here to make a nice little vinaigrette smokiness so I have this smoked Spanish paprika I'm just gonna add a little dash and voila got a nice little side salad now that our eggs are done I like to take them out on a slotted spoon and drop them onto a paper towel just to dry off all that excess water because when you plate your egg you don't want that water to water down your English muffin you also want it to be dry so your hollandaise sauce sticks to your egg and just give it a little pat a little pat a little pappy nice nice slotted spoon helps drain off all the excess water and gives you nice beautiful poached eggs now the amount of time you cook them for depends on your doneness. I like my eggs very runny. You know, the yolk is the best part. It soaks up all that goodness. Okay. And now we plate. We got our nice English muffins toasted here. We got some guacamole here. 
simple, easy, quick guac, fresh lime juice, a whole avocado, some sliced, um, some diced onions, some diced tomatoes, some ground smoked cumin, salt, pepper, crushed red pepper flakes, uh, chili garlic, hot sauce, a little dash of distilled vinegar, and you know, crushed and crushed hot. So we'll put some guac right on, right on this English muffin. Be as generous as you want with the guacamole. Avocados are 100% a healthy fat. So this will help not only keep you feeling full longer, but you won't feel ugh, after you're done eating it. You know, you'll feel energized, you'll feel alert, you'll feel ready for the day and you'll be able to go about your day. You know, and it's a quick, under 30 minute breakfast you can make, whip up real quick. Your guacamole you can make ahead of time. The longer it marinates, the better it tastes. And we're gonna take some of these nice, thinly sliced tomatoes and put them on top of our guac. I'm not a big fan of thick, chunky tomatoes, so I always slice them very thin. And then we're gonna take our egg and just drop our egg right on top. Drop our salad right next to it. Greens are always good start to the day. All the vitamins and nutrients that come in the greens. Get your brain flow going, your energy going, your juices going, everything going. And now the fun part. You want to re-whisk up your yolk your hollandaise because it's fat for a minute so it's going to get a little bit of a film so just re-whip it up real quick now you can put it back over the double boiler if it starts to thin out if it thins out a little bit you can always add a couple of drops of warm water at a time to fix its consistency And then you're going to hit it with a little scallion garnish, give it a nice little green, and voila, you have brunch in less than 30 minutes. Enjoy!